The Shiite protest ends in a bloodbath as a deputy commissioner of police dies and some protesters are killed. Despite the several killings and kidnaps across the country, the presidency says the president is on top of the security situation. I am Felicity Ezewike and this is Plus Politics. Members of the Islamic Movement of Nigeria, IMN, have once again clashed with police officers during the protest in Abuja. The group, also known as Shiites, began the protest at Nitel Junction and marched towards the Secretariat. The protest, however, turned violent when government vehicles owned by the Emergency Management Agency were burnt by the aggrieved protesters. The protest is coming two weeks after the first protest at the National Assembly Complex in Abuja. The Shiite protesters are calling on the Nigerian government to release their leader, El Zaki, who has been in detention since 2015. Joining me to discuss this are two public affairs, political analysts actually. Uh, we have Babashola Adegui, thank you very much for coming. It is a pleasure. And of course a familiar face as well, Gochukui Kako, always a pleasure to have you thank join you. us. This is a, on a rather sad note, a deputy commissioner of police. His current, his funeral is just about to kick off because he's a Muslim. And then we hear some protesters have died. There seemed to be an escalation in this violence. What is your reaction? I mean, a, it is an unfortunate incident, all right? But uh, we're here because the government has brought us to this particular point. When I talk about the government, I talk about the executive arm of the government. Uh, since 2015, the court has asked that I was exactly, you know, a few years back, I exactly should be released, all right? And uh, you've kept this man against, against the, uh, in contempt of court, ju ju court judgment. He's been there, uh, he's sick. Right, uh, you've refused him access to travel abroad to get uh, quality health care. Where the situation now, where he supports us, right, the member of the Islamic movement of Nigeria, had said to take laws into their hand, right, because the people that are supposed to step in and do the right thing has failed to do it. Is it justified? No, all right. But the issue is that uh, one thing that is clear is that the Nigeria government and the Nigeria police, there's one thing that they don't, they don't know how to do is how to manage protesters. All right? So if something that's supposed to be a peaceful protest, there's everything else that they, on their own part, can contribute in escalating that tension. So yeah, that's a strong allegation you're making, but we'll, we'll get back to that. It's, yeah. not, it's, it's, not, it's, not, it's not an allegation. We can count how many times protests in Abuja has, done, has escalated. The last protest that was, the last protest that was against uh, the so-called man of God that, that uh, people has come out to say that he has molested people, we saw how police came there, right? There was heavy police presence. See, protest is a part of, is a part of the democratic process. People, people are going to protest. People are going to do that. Nigerians should understand this.